Hi everybody! So I'm gonna do another journey healing. Um, so this one is for Bianca and Bianca has been um, experiencing migraines since she was 18 and then <clears throat> is also about to have a hysterectomy which is a pretty hardcore deal. So um, I'm going to um, do this as a, um, it's gonna be a rebirth journey by video. Um, this way you can see what the rebirth journey is like and um, I don't do these by video but um, she's willing to um, share this publicly so I'm going to, um, I'm, I'm kind, it's kind of a demonstration as well um, and then sort of um, a learning tool um, for anybody interested in being a spiritual healer and then um, also for myself just to see and feel what it's like to do these by video. So. Um, so again, I'm like, I don't know why, but I'm really overwhelmed. Um, I'm kind of nervous too. Um, so I'm just calming down and aligning with, um, with the journey itself. These are really big deals. Um, and they take a lot of focus, um, and time um, and a lot of energy to get through. A lot of pictures, um, that I see. So... I just uploaded one. Um, I did a lot of speaking um, just to describe everything. Um, this time I'm going to um, try and just focus on the journey um, itself. It's just really a lot of energy. It's hard to talk. <sighs> okay. So, this is really hard. Um, I'm just going to start describing what they show me. Um, so there's a pinpoint of light, um, light that comes down, and it's almost like a door being open, and then you see light on the other side coming through um, what was a dark space. Um, literally um, a girl or a small child, um, but it is Bianca um, sitting in a, um, like a closet in the fetal position, holding, rocking, and shaking, even crying. Um, abuse even. Um, so this is this is um, has value. There's reason for everything that I see. Um, so the door is still slowly opening. Um, they're transitioning. There's going to be pauses because it, it just takes time for the transition to take place and then for me to make sense of what the next thing is. Um, they're saying that I did not discuss certain details. When I'm writing, it's a lot easier. Um, so, the details I didn't mention. Um, what would be a father figure coming out of the door? Um, the man is... Um, he just, he's kind of slobbish, um, he just looks like a, um, he's just wearing his boxer shorts, um, he's bald, has some hair on the sides, and then wears the glasses, um, some sort of hair here, um, he's really rounded, um, definitely would be like a couch potato type of, um, per, you know, persona. Um, just slob, looks like a slob, you know, just, um, he's overweight and, um, just seems like he's lazy, slobbish type of person. Um, and he's coming down the hallway, um, but there's nothing, um, no explanation for what this means, um, or why this is taking place. Um, just the images themselves. Um, so, they're wanting me to, they want me to really focus on talking this through this. Okay, <clears throat> bear with me here. This is a lot of energy. It's hard to speak. It's hard to, to speak because I'm used to doing these in writing. Um, all right. I don't know if I can do it by video. There's too much energy and it's very difficult. I can't, I can't, the vo my voice alters my ability to focus. Um, they're like not wanting me to give up, so I'm going to not. Um, he's standing by the closet now, um, and um, she's still in the closet, although I'm seeing now from his angle into a dark closet, unable to see in the dark closet, um, inside the dark closet you can see out what is there from the light. 
Um, he's just standing there. Um, it seems like he there might be a conversation, but there's no, no inter exchange or interaction taking place. Um, there's no violence taking place right now. Although I feel, they're showing me images of a female womb. Um, it is a dark place, too, like a closet. Um, women to hide their emotions inside their dark closet um, of a womb. Um, females do this. Um, and then creates pain there. And then... Um, sort of, I'm not gonna lie, this, sort of, this whole thing is really overwhelming um, to experience. Um, but nothing is happening yet. Um, an exchange is not taking place yet. I'm not seeing any violence or anything of that kind yet. Um, female stands up and he's still just standing there. Um, I really don't want to, I don't, this is just too difficult. Um, it just, I don't want to see that, you know? There's, a, there's literally an exchange that is extremely inappropriate between a father and a daughter. Um, and this is, they're not telling me if this is um, present life or a past life, um, but they're saying that the pain or the hurt that is stored in the female womb is um, a reflection of this um, echo um, of a trauma experience. Um, a sexual trauma experience um, that was very, that was not appropriate at all. Um, stored in the female womb. Um, they're like really proud of me for talking about this out loud. Um, that's not easy for me to digest that. So, um, the image is changing. Um, so, there's an airplane in the sky. Um, there's two images. So, this simultaneously, which is a rape experience um, in the closet. And then there's an airplane um, overhead, um, over in the sky. Um, and I can hear it, um, hear the airplane noise, too, um, in the sky. So I'm just waiting to see something. There's sort of like happier images now. Um, what is like a giant stuffed elephant? Um, and people like a parade or something. Um, or just being like at Walt Disney, um, happy, happier memories. <clears throat> people are happy and smiling, and there's a really joyful... Um, it's just really joyful. It's like um, a kid's paradise is the feeling I get. Um, so, thinking of things that are happier. <sighs> Energy is really hardcore. It's changing now. So, um, I have to wait. There is, um, this is interesting, this has to do with dark and light again. Um, even like, like the dark, um, a dark hallway with the door opening and then a light um, coming through. Um, but this is more like a trap door on the ground and then it opens up and then exposes light that comes out like this. Um, and so a dark space and then a trap and then you open it and now light comes out like this. Um, Again, there's this reflection of sort of light coming out of darkness. And again, I see a silly elephant and a parade. Okay, there's some really small um, ants or something crawling out of this box on the ground with the light coming out. And I can't, I don't know what they are. I don't know what this is. Um, I go to them and I feel inspired to eat them for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. Di something about digesting something that is not appropriate for the body, even. Eating something that would, that, um, so some eating something. So we don't know what it is. We don't even know why we're eating it, but we are still eating it.
They are, there's no sound, there's no explanation, there's no energy changes, there's only this scene. That is all I'm getting right now, so we just have to wait. So there's something I'm supposed to be doing. There's some sort of act um, that I'm supposed to be participating, something I'm supposed to be doing right now in order to fix, um, correct all of these images. They're all aligned together. The closet, the experience of the closet and the door and and the sort of terrible memory, um, but then the airplane and the elephant and then the strange box with the light coming out and the ants. Um, I don't even know that they're ants. They're just, it just looks like tiny things crawling. It looks like, it, like ants um, and then eating them. Um, there's something I'm supposed to do with all of this together. So I have to figure this out. And they're counting down to rebirth now. Um, soul counting down to rebirth of expression, soul identity to alter its expression. It's sort of like celebrating the new year, um, but it's counting down to rebirth of soul. Um, they're, um, this is them telling me um, too that I will successfully figure this out. Um, these these things are are challenging. They um they're complicated. Um, I don't. This is how I digest the wisdom. This is how I heal. This is how I heal at a distance, and this does effectively work. Um, so we just have to wait. <laughs> so I'm waiting. Um, they're wanting me to bind them together. They're showing me what is, um, so Bianca um, has this really awesome grid of stones um, that she's made. It's really pretty. Um, um, if I can get her permission, I'm just gonna attach it and then you can see how pretty it is. Um, Cause it's gorgeous. Um, it's an earth grid of crystals. Um, it's, it, it's, it, it was, I still can see them all in there. They're so pretty and um, I love looking at it. Um, so this has a lot to do with connecting, um, earth healing even, earth healing to connect to all of this um, through the crystals in her own crystal grid um, in order to heal these echoes that are in conjunction with each other. Um, what it's sort of like the weird, the happy elephant sort of is like um, some sort of um, tool the mind uses in order to black out um, really bad memories. That's honestly how it comes to me. Um, and so this crystal grid is um, actually to lift up, unroot um, all of these memories and now um, heal them in the crystal grid itself. Allow the crystals to do the healing even. Um, they wanted me to place a crystal in each one of these compartments um, of crystal I've seen on her grid. Um, so. so I'm placing one. There's all different kinds. Um, I couldn't even tell you all the names of them. They're just so all different kinds. They're all pretty, um, all really pretty. Um, so I'm putting one in in the closet, um, one in the airplane picture, one um, with the elephant. Um, putting one even with this box with the light coming out and the ants. Um, so I'm putting one there. Um, everything feels really awesome inside of me. Like I'm connecting um, energy spots um, in my own body and it's feeling really amazing. Um, energy is, is really awesome right now. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna enjoy this feeling while it lasts because these, <laughs> it's hard to say what's coming next, you know. <laughs> They're showing, they're telling me there's value. Um, I actually need to see this um, father figure eye to eye, um, even to help him to see, um, even to go to him without judgment of action, um, Bianca to heal as well. So we're going to just do this um, both to both of them, um, actually share unconditional love. Unconditional love is um, ultimate forgiveness of all sins, all um, damage, all hurt, all pain, all tr actions um, that have created suffering even. Um, this, is this is how we heal this, um, the womb, um, is we, we go to these and we share love on both sides. So, 
I, I'm actually inspired to remove his glasses um, to help him to see behavior. Um, I have to heal him first. Um, I can't heal Bianca first. Um, I have to heal him first so that now he can um, be removed from the scene even and then I can heal Bianca. So I'm helping him to see. They're showing me that he this sort of... Um, the only way I can describe it is um, the his as of right now this is the best way I understand it. His identity is um, he sort of um, has a soul that is not um, he's not a very nice person. Is really he's just not a really nice um, soul even just to be like now that I'm seeing him eye to eye, um, his soul's really quite an asshole kind of. <laughs> um, they you know you just get these um, and that's okay too. Um, so I'm just. I'm touching the soul. I'm telling that now the soul's really is it's just a devious um uh, monster soul is basically. Um so now um the soul's court sort of cracking out and now I can see the soul within this body. Um this is really big deal that this would need to be released from the the soul um of Bianca. This this has this attachment has to go. Um absolutely has to be released. So I'm now touching him um so it's just it's just known. It is time now for him to go on to other things. So the energy is really pure and really good. Um, pure intentions. Even the crystals themselves heal um, and create sort of. Um, um, they make it impossible for anything negative to enter into the crystal grid itself. Um, the crystal grid itself is removing the um, this entity. I don't even have to do any work. Um, it is just releasing on its own. They're saying allow the crystal grid now to activate in order to heal um, and release. So I'm going to do that. I'm seeing her crystal grid and then I'm placing it here um, amongst all these crystals that I've placed. Um, and I'm just allowing the energy then to do like a spiral and then he's just he's just vanishing um, he has no he has no further purpose here is what this is his purpose is um, he, his role is complete is basically it um, so now he's gone and they're saying is he really evil or malicious um, pain and suffering are a terrible thing and they do hurt um, but every soul has a purpose and a role um, for the development and the benefit of other souls even if their role is damaging um, there, there is a good side to all things, um, even the things that create all of the pain and suffering. Um, so they're just wanting me to acknowledge that he's no longer there. There's no this, I, this, this whole house is just the vibration, and then the everything in here is just, is just gross to me. Um, I just don't like it. I don't like the hallway or the door, or the cre the just. He's gone, but now all of this sort of energy is there, and I can feel it. Um, so I'm just going to go to Bianca now in the closet. Um, is she, she is a child who was raped. Um, that is what is coming to me. It isn't, it isn't saying if it was this lifetime or a previous lifetime. It is just, they are only saying child who was raped. That is all they are saying. Um, and that child needs held um, and comforted um, to see that there's mass, a massive confusion for this child um, to experience this. The child does not understand the interaction at all um, and suffers from the interaction as well. Um, child is sort of um, shaking, can't, can't um, calm down, um, really disturbed and um, mentally abused, emotionally abused, physically abused from this event. Um, repetitive event even. Um, father has no respect for his position as father. Um, role is just, is just, you know, it's just a messed up thing. So let's see here. So this is really like, this is really this sort of same thing I get when I um, heal or release ghost entities. So, um, you go into the sort of echo, right? And the goat is just the rocking child, you know? Um, 
is confused and then um your energy or light um alone in the spiritual layers actually um fills the room of the space or like um the light turn the light on in the closet um so light is on but the energy itself is sort of touching and absorbing into the child and the child itself is sort of like filling with light um and healing and unconditional love and there's no more pain or suffering at all in fact um it's completely um complete freedom um total joy and um not even an attachment to the painful memory even it's just complete release um it's sort of like um it would be like going through a really horrible long life and then you finally get to the end and sort of this some lifetimes sort of like death is the relief um and so but it's, so for her it's sort of like the that it has finally come i'm just sort of filled with light and um, joy happiness peacefulness there's no longer any more work to do um the pain and suffering is over and so now she's just filling with light it's like she's just so happy um smiling um, still in the closet, um, just this ball is just like beaming with white light all around her. So, even this joy in the child is filling this house with so much happiness even, and I don't even feel the grossness. Um, but they're saying to allow, um, it has to do with, uh, I just, it's sort of like the past now, these walls, um, the space, um, it just needs to be completely, it doesn't have a purpose anymore um, because it is a, it's from the, a memory from the past, you know, so um, we can just break down the walls, so to speak, um, because this past doesn't need to have structure anymore and it sort of releases the soul from the attachment when you alter the structure of the memory. Um, the past memory, so you alter the vibration itself too. So, um, so they're like um, <laughs> making me feel really happy, um, like I, like I should be just super dancing and um, just super dance and be merry and even um, just put start throwing crystals everywhere. I like put crystals in every place of this house um, and just let the crystals suck in all the energy. Um, it just alter the uh, energy vibrations. Um, they're like even they're all, all the walls are altering and turning into crystals themselves. Um, everything is just turning into a crystal, um, a super beautiful, amazing, extraordinary, like um, uh, awesome sort of just crystals everywhere. Um, even the walls are made out of cri like lots and lots of crystals, even um, like they're glued together or something, but you can't see the glue. But um, and it's so pretty, uh, so decorative, so gorgeous. Everything is made out of these like awesome crystals. Um, now this home is no longer even a, a, the same at all. It's just, um, it's just made out of these crystals. The crystals themselves are sucking out all of this sort of pain and vibration and all this sort of horrible treachery. Um, and then now they now they aren't even needed anymore, and everything's just sort of breaking apart. Um, and now there's like nothing but a, but a void of, um, infinite change, um, now being allowed. Sort of the past is now completely in the past. Um, not even the crystals are necessary anymore for healing because the healing is complete. Um, so I'm just going to this child because she's still sort of there. Um, and this closet space is still sort of there too. So... I'm just gonna touch it. Um, so I have sort of like, so I use like red energy, sort of the spicy hot, um, cinnamony spicy, um, red hot sort of energy. So you touch the walls and um, and then the, with the red, and now the red um, eats away at all the walls, and now there are no walls anymore. Um, and so now that all that is left um, is good to create these sort of vo void worlds. Um, because now you can um, you can create something new and beautiful and extraordinary and it is a gift um, a change of the vibration um, something refreshing um, that is healing and awesome um, so now the closet is um, is gone and now I see I just see the child and um, she seems to be holding something that she wants to give to me 
it is she's so happy now um she's even running she gives me a like a little teddy stuffed teddy bear just a little tiny one um and it's got sort of floppy legs um floppy arms and then um just the head and the round body and it's just a brown sort of old older looking sort of teddy bear um and then she's just running um into the light is oh she just she's evaporating um she's no she's, she's not there anymore so I'm just holding this teddy bear. Um, childhood, so these childhood um, to sort of toys of comfort, um, they're so valuable to children even um, that need them um, because they become a reflection of like, um, almost like a spirit guide in the form of a physical object. Um, so that way they can hold their spirit spirit guide close to them at night or it sort of has that sort of um that's what it feels like um it may not be understood in that way but that's what that's honestly what it feels like um so holding this is like holding um love um pure love is what it feels like holding pure love um what is like a spirit guide though like um it's just a stuffed teddy bear is all it is it's like so much love in this teddy bear. Um, it's overwhelming. The stuff is is overwhelming. <sighs> All right. <sighs> I have to exhaust. I'm exhausted. So, <laughs> give me a minute here. <laughs> I have to wait for the next thing. Still waiting. I mean, the energy vibration is just so intense right now. I can't do anything. I just have to wait. So, we're about to start something new. Um, <sighs> Alright, the energy is definitely changing, but it's not quite there yet. Um, so, the happy feeling and the warm, loving feeling is sort of altering. And then, um, feeling sort of like a darker, um, darker memory, um, darker place, darker space um, is coming. So... I'm sort of just on a pathway, and um, that void is just, um, it's just a void. There's nothing there, um, but the sort of, it's inner, it's odd. It's like the hallway um, where er everything disappeared, but um, it's, it's now, now the hallway is this sort of dark, um, it is the pathway through a dark space. Um, I don't know what the dark space is yet. Um, it's just very dark, and it feels like... Um, a dark wood or something, but I can't see anything just yet. Um, I only understand that there's a pathway, and I'm standing on it, and it feels like there's trees made out of black energy, um, just dark trees, um, and they're sharp too. Um, this has to do with the migraines, is what this has to do with. Um, so, I'm just waiting for it to manifest itself. This is gonna hurt. Um, that this is really um, this is really painful. Um, this is really this hurts my fingers. Um, I, I feel like um, I don't mean to touch them, but I just I'm just trying to understand what it is. I'm not able to see even. Um, sort of like the pain is so horrible I can't even see. Um, and all I feel is the pain. Um, that is that is what this means. So all I feel is the pain itself. Um, that's what the, ref I'm seeing an image of my fingers are, it's sort of like I'm taking glass and just, just doing this with it in my hand, and then the glass shards are just, just cutting me, um, cutting, it just, there's just too much pain, um, that I feel. Um, it's not very nice at all, it's horrible. Um, so, this is some, there's a guy on a horse, um, <laughs> I don't know why, but they said winter rider. Um, I don't know what that means. 
Kind of makes me think of Winter Soldier, but um, they said Winter Rider, and um, on a horse, and he's got, he's wearing black, um, he's like got a black cape, he's like Zorro or something, um, on a horse, um, a brown horse, and he's just sort of on the horizon, but I can see him, um, you won't show his face, I don't really get any feeling like he's evil, or there's nothing coming to me about that, um, I'm still at the path, start of the pathway though. I haven't started walking yet. It was just really to discover the feeling or the experience of this, this sort of expression. Um, it's starting to solidify in a way that I can start to see things. Um, this sort of winter rider is <laughs> not even snowing or anything, so I don't really understand it. Um, it doesn't even feel like it would be cold um, or necessarily hot. Um, it just feels like a medium temperature. Um, temperature doesn't really matter. It's just um, it's not part of the detail. Um, so I'm just waiting for the next thing now. <laughs> something that I'm going to be handed. Um, there's some something. I can't, um, it's like I'm being given a pen, and, um, it's a feather, though, and it's a white feather, and then you could write with this pen, um, with black ink, so now we have, um, white and black again, it's sort of like the dark hallway and the door, and then the thing, the box with the white light coming out of it, and the black, um, so again, this sort of black and white, thing um, has to do with expressing oneself um, white feather of purity but this black ink is sort of makes me think of tar um, sort of tars like this sort of um, it's a reflection of pain and suffering right um, writing down the pain and suffering um, we are making notes of the pain and suffering um, of Bianca that's what this is Something about a bird now, um, birds have so, see, I see birds a lot, and they have, I mean, obviously birds have a sort of really high caliber meaning, um, because they're sort of, um, they can fly, you know, and they can see, um, up above, and, um, but this is a white bird, um, and white to emphasize the purity, too, um, they're really wanting me to use this white bird in order to heal the pain of the migraine, even. Um, and that's a white feather as well. It has to do with this white feather of the bird. Um, so, this white, this sort of winter soldier, um, is it winter white? Um, and he's sort of in this black outfit. Um, so these black trees um, that are really sharp um, they hurt really bad you couldn't walk through there that's why I haven't even walked through there I would just be g slicing myself up um, I can't I couldn't even do it that's why I'm just standing there waiting to know what the next thing is but the next thing is literally to um, inflict healing um, just to um, heal this space it's sort of um, holding this teddy bear still um, this teddy bear is full of love as well. Um, I'm wondering what I can do. I'm just going to try something, okay? And we'll just see what happens. Um, I'm just going to throw this teddy bear of love into this um, chaotic, sort of painful migraine world. Um, just to see what happens. I, not ever, I never lose these things, um, but I learned stuff from just trying things, right? Um, so I'm just going to... It won't go. I, I'm trying to throw it in there. Um, okay. Huh. Okay. Okay, this is what happens. Um, so I just threw it in there, and it was, like, stuck in midair. Um, and then it managed to find a way to th go through, like, a membrane um, where you can't get through the membrane itself. Um, but it managed to get through the membrane, um, and then it sort of skidded off into the this wooded area. It turned completely black, and then I saw a giant sort of dragon um, with a rider on it even come down and gobble it up the teddy bear. So, obviously that's... Um, the, that's not working. Um, so I'm just still holding the teddy bear, right? Um, so I have to try these things out. Um, so 
there's a there is so they're like everything has value even your choice to use the teddy bear um, to heal this space um, you're choosing to heal this space with love um, showing the value um, that love has to even penetrate through an impenetrable membrane um, where this um, teddy bear did not belong was still able to find its way there um, through love itself um, love to enter into the migraine to heal um, not the correct um, version of healing for this space so um, I'm just gonna try and um, I know that there's this white bird but I I'm just not ready for the white bird yet <laughs> I'm gonna um, I'm gonna actually just um, see if I can enter through here and see what happens so yeah we are <laughs> This stuff takes time, I'm telling you. You can't just do this stuff um, like that. You gotta wait. Um, I'm just checking to see if my mouth and it's sort of okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Microphone and um, it's just how they're syncing up. I just gotta check sometimes. It, it is what it is, but um, okay. So, um, now I am in the, I have chosen to walk through the membrane, um, so now I see the other side of the membrane is quite a lot more gruesome than it appeared on the other side. Um, so I'm actually meeting with this dragon face to face, has really long, sharp teeth, um, and sort of the neck and the head are the same size. Um, and it's definitely got scales and it's a greenish color, um, and then it's got the sort of dark rider on it um, and the and but the thing is is it looked green on the other side of the membrane but now it is pure black with red glowing eyes um, and everything is in darkness on this side and there's even a horrible wind as well um, there's just so much chaos here um, but I'm not in pain I'm not getting hurt at all by walking into here I'm only exploring um, so I'm just Everything has to be transformed in the light here, um, because this this dragon actually has a way of being two um, two ways. Um, one is black and one is white, even um, to be balanced in both black darkness and in light. Um, so it must. This, so she. So this is really what it is. Bianca is sort of um, experiencing the dark side um, of her soul and. Um, that's, the, that's the only way I can understand it right now. Um, and it's sort of, um, it comes up in this layer of like p pain of the mind. Um, and so this dark side um, of the soul is ready to transform um, to be an expression of white, white light, I guess. I don't see, I still, I'm still learning this. I'm still trying to understand. All souls have sort of a darker side and a lighter side. Um, both a white and a black, um, a balance of dark and light is val is important because the soul isn't just exploring um, heaven a heavenly experience. Um, soul explores um, experiences of hell too. Like, why do we come to Earth so we can actually explore what hell is like? Um, that's literally what it is. Some souls couldn't tolerate it or aren't ready for that yet, and so they they have simpler you know lives where they. Um, get the flavor of heaven um, from the sort of denser spiritual layer, um, thus the physical realm. Um, and so then those of us, some of us are really tough cookies, and then, um, and so we're trying to find balance between um, our light and dark sides. Um, but the dark side also can be sort of, um, I don't know how to describe it, it just feels balanced is the only way you can describe it. Um, there's a lot of really good vibrations that I'm feeling right now, um, from being near this dragon even. Um, the dragon's just calming down and even the winds are calming down. Um, everything is just calming down quite a lot and altering its vibration entirely. Um, everything is changing even. Um, sort of like you go through a revolving door, so, um, and, but it's on the mirror. What is on the other side of the mirror is the opposing reflection. And so we're seeing the opposing reflection now. Um, even the membrane um, is receding and um, love now entering through my heart, um, channeling sort of love from source. But um, this monster of a, of a dragon type um, has the wings and everything. Um, even a sharp spiky tail um, is, uh, is black, um, but now it's turning to green um, again. Um, 
And it's even really sweet. Um, it's really nice. Dragon. It looks treacherous, but it's not as, e as like, scary as you think, you know? Um, and they're really wanting me to emphasize that, again, I am seeing this sort of white wizard. Um, he has this superior, he's like, like the iconic, um, he is a hardcore spiritual, um, guide, sort of, like, he, he would be, um, aligned with, like, Jesus or Buddha or Mother Teresa, um, but we just see him as a mythical sort of, um, wizard, um, but he really does have an expression, he's profound, um, he's really a profound expression of white light specifically. Um, and then he really does have like a really long white beard and really long white hair. Um, and he does look like he does look like Gandalf the Grey, but um, Gandalf the White, you know, with, but really long white beard and everything. Um, and he just has this sort of um, way about him of just being so pure. Um, and he even is getting off of the dragon. Um, he really is happy, um, wanting to heal, um, help me with this profound healing, um, that I'm sharing with Bianca. Um, it's like so much joy, is like so much happiness. Um, he's like, he really wants to share white healing light, um, with the head, um, where the migraines are. He's like, migraines, um, to be lifted, um, and released even. Um, there's no need for this um, self-torture. Is it, it, it would self-torture? You don't mean to do this. You don't mean to have a migraine. Nobody wants to have a migraine, but is literally a reflection of being sort somehow an echo that is stuck. Um, and you can only um, release yourself from it when you choose to actually go into the spiritual layers um, in order to see. Um, where it lies, what it is a reflection of, um, what the echo looks like, actually go in um, with loving spiritual energy and then heal it, is what you're doing. Um, and now there's no need for the migraines to exist anymore um, as a reflection in the physical, um, what is taking place in the spiritual. Um, so, they, the spirit realm is talking um, about me. Um, it was so quiet and so quick, and now I can't hear them anymore, and I can't even remember what they were saying. See, I'm in these states, right? And so I can't, um, if I didn't video this or I didn't write it down, I would not be able to remember half of this stuff um, of that I see. Um, and so what I see, right, it's, it's all, sounds very creative and um, fictional and all that, but this does effectively heal. Um, I'm telling you, this effectively heals people. Um... This is how I comprehend the spirit realm, um, me going into the spirit realm and, and healing in the spirit realm. This is my how I perceive it, um, how I experience it, and how I heal in the spirit realm. You don't actually have to go to people um, and heal them in the physical. You can actually go to them um, just sitting here, make a video telling you about this, um, pop over to the spirit realm of their expression and see what's there and then heal everything you see. Um, I don't always know if it's going to res, I don't, I don't know Bianca's past, I don't know her history, I don't know if that's a true thing that she experienced, or, um, if it's from a past life, whatever it is, it has value, and it has to be, um, healed, released, um, with love, um, and now it will effectively, um, provide healing, and that is the truth, so, I'm with Gandalf the White, um, <laughs> healing with Gandalf, um, it's pretty fun, really. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, so... <laughs> I can't, I don't know, I can't, can't do anything right now, it's just too funny. Um, okay. <sighs> so, I <laughs> All right, the trees are looking healthier. They're actually growing leaves. Um, it's really like a real forest. Um, it's really happy, too. Um, white light has a way of sort of setting the vi altering the vibrations. Um, it's sort of dark. Um, so, so darkness, um, there are good versions of dark, all right? So don't go thinking that dark is um, always going to be evil. That's not the truth at all. Um, I've seen some profound and loving um, entities that are expressions of dark light. Um, so you can't you can't evaluate things based on that at all. Um, but white light, I haven't seen. I mean, I've seen a demon that was pure white, um, but it wasn't a reflection of white light. Um, it was just it was a reflection of like disturbing energy. 
So I haven't, I've not yet seen um, a demented expression of white light as of yet. I will just tell you that. Um, but this white light does have like a pure heavenly flavor about it. Um, the, it's really, um, feels good. Um, you just want to, you just want to, um, bathe in it and like shower in it and just like white light everywhere and it feels awesome and it's just really great to breathe it in. Um, it feels amazing. Um, it fills the eyes and the body and the mouth and the lungs and the blood and the heart and the mind and the everything. Um, it's really healing. So I'm just, um, we're still hanging out there. I'm just, so I'm like talking to you while the scenery is um, healing, all right? Um, if I was doing this, I would just be waiting um, for everything to complete itself. Um, so this stuff takes time. I can't just um, change the vision, the view. I have to wait for the view to alter itself to show me that it has been healed now. Um, I can't just change it. So, um, so all this white light is, um, he like channels it through the staff of his, um, and it goes into the ground too, and it goes out of this um, sort of crystal on the top, and then um, it's just the white light is just um, altering the vibrations of everything. I don't even feel anything in my head anymore. Um, the sharpness is totally gone. Um, even the dragon is really happy, um, silly, and it has sort of a way of changing its color. So it could be any color it wants to be. Um, so it could change its color from green to black to white or um, like a chameleon. It could just change its color to whatever it wants to be. Um, and it's sort of still a green color, um, but it also has some like um, scales that are um, sort of shadows of white color too. So it's sort of a multicolor like green and white um, shaded, um, patchy shaded, um, really cool dragon looking creature. Um, it's not a massive dragon either. Um, they're showing me how the spike, it doesn't show its spikes unless it feels disturbed. Um, and it doesn't feel that way. It's sort of like a porcupine. Um, so the porcupine, when it's scared, it, um, puts its spikes out, um, to protect itself. So even the dragon sort of has a protective, um, it sort of has a spiky tail only when it lifts the spikes out. Um, but when it feels calm and peaceful, then the spikes aren't lifted out. Um, and it's sort of just really cute, um, even though it's like it's got giant sharp teeth. Um, it doesn't want to harm anybody. It's sort of like a pet dog. It just wants to lick your face, even. <laughs> um, everything is so happy and healthy. Um, and now flowers are even growing out of the ground. Um, and the trees look really healthy and happy. Um, there's something happening. There's something new happening. Um, there's something new I have to go to see. Um, Gandalf is on a white horse now. Um, he was sitting on the dragon, but the dragon is not, um, he is on a white horse now. Um, and I'm sort of leaving everybody, um, behind. Um, there's, there's still a shade of this that needs focused on because there are two reflections of the same. So you have one that is really healed and one is still like lingering in the darkness. Um, because there's some, another layer that um, must be exposed now. Um, I could feel it blowing through the trees. And so now I'm getting absorbed into it is sort of um, coming out of the sky downward as sort of like a giant fan that is sort of blowing um, wind um, through the trees. So... I'm going up to see what is up there. Um, I cannot see all my life what is up there. Um, I'm just going up there. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just going there. Um, it has to do with sunlight. Um, being burnt. Um, it's just like like the sunlight is too bright. Um, I can't see a stinking thing. They won't. I won't. I'm not able to see anything. Um, I can't even see, like, a pathway or a hallway or a, um, all I see is white. It's just too much white, um, and it's just too much. Um, but I feel like it's coming from the sun. Um, I'm just waiting. I have no choice. I, all I can do is wait right now. They're telling me you are effectively healing Bianca, and she will experience healing from this. Um, and then reminding me about patience. <laughs> Reminding all of us about patience. <laughs> Good things do come in time. I just, um, I'm still waiting. See, I'm just waiting right now. Hey, I'm a guy. 
I'm not gonna lie, I was sleepy um, this morning. And I couldn't, I even slept in, sleeping in is like till 7. And even then, I was like, I better get up. Um, but I was like, oh, I could just lay in bed for hours today. I don't know why, but I just, one of those days where you just don't want to get up, you know? <laughs> so, okay. I didn't have any coffee today either, so maybe. But, um, I'm still waiting, you see? So I'm just like filling in the void um, with random conversation while we wait. Um, okay, so there's still some there's some manifestations taking place, but I'm not able to see. But it does have to do with a dragon now um, guarding like a castle in the sky, and there's um, clouds and stuff. It's really cool. I'm not gonna lie, um, but I can tell there's work to be done here. Um, sort of an altered vibration. Um, this is I'm gonna tell you everything that comes as it comes. Um, this castle is in charge. Um, this castle is controlling how much light Bianca can tolerate. Um, this castle um, has a sort of like, like, like evil castle laughter about it. Like, ha ha ha! You know, I'm gonna like fill her with so much light. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it her so miserable. Um, sort of like this evil white castle. Um, so I guess we get to see the evil side of white, huh? Um, and it's in white clouds, and there is a dragon, but this one is massive, um, and it is, its head is, um, like a, it's sort of rounded here, and then it comes out into a snout, um, and then it has, like, um, a tube for a really long neck that is a tube, but the head is bigger than the neck. Whereas the other ones, the sort of head um, was just the same like width and everything as the neck, so it was just sort of one long piece, um, like a worm or something. Um, this one actually has sort of a, a facial structure that comes out, um, and then wings, and um, and it's green. Um, and is guarding this castle, and it's sharp. Um, it's got sharp sort of hooks, um, and then sharp on the back, um, on this along the spine, um, and even sharp around the head. Even like it has these protective, like it's almost like the spikes can come up um, when they're uh, angry or disturbed, um, but when they feel peaceful, the spikes actually sort of like lay down. Um, even on the spine, they can they can they have a way of pu pulling them, pushing them out, and then laying them down. Um, even on the tail, like for them to have spikes on the tail is normal too. Um, this is serious. There really are dragons. I'm telling you that they may not be here on Earth, but they re there really are dragons in an infinite universe. Um, so let me see. Okay. Um, okay. I've seen this before too. Um, and this is how they show me that this is a female dragon. Um, because the dragon likes to wear lipstick. Um, so it's a pretty dragon. <laughs> this is a pretty dragon now. Um, she wears lipstick. <laughs> um, okay. Um, if they're not wearing lipstick, um, this is how I translate it, I guess. If they're not wearing lipstick, then they're male dragons. <laughs> when they wear lipstick, they're female. This is a female dragon, um, that guards this, um... But I'm not sure why. Um, why do you want the evil castle to be hurting you? Um, I'm just going to this female dragon. Um, she seems to be really sad about something. Um, like she was, um, and she just seems really tired too. Um, she just wants to lay down, like almost collapse from something. Um, it's some sort of terrible de like destiny that she's meant to be the keeper of this castle. Um, and she's so tired of it, um, and she just can't, she just doesn't want to keep going on like this anymore. Um, but she hasn't been released from this role. You can't, you, you, she has not been able to re be released from this role. Um, so I'm just sort of like petting her head, um, and she's like really peaceful, and there's not, she's not trying to hurt me at all, she's just really tired. And there's sort of like an invisible, um like shackle around her neck um and then um but it's invisible but yet they're showing it is that she feels like um 
she is like um, captive, like held captive, or um, she's unable to release from this imprisonment, um, is what it feels like is imprisonment um, to have this issue. Um, it's like you're being um, imprisoned, unable to free yourself even from it. So I'm like telling her that you're okay. Um, I'm going to help you. <laughs> um, I just touch um, the shackle with my finger. Um, and it just, uh, just to touch it as sort of um, allowing the shackle to know that it is time um, for you to open um, and free the dragon. So, I'm filling the shackle with the intention of freedom. Um, I channel Bianca a permission slip in order to complete this work. Um, and so, I'm, remind I'm sharing that with the shackle and the dragon and even this white castle. Um, this permission slip. Um, which is confirmation that um, the release is now. Um, no, there is no more um, work to be done. Um, the job is over. You're retired. Um, this is kind of what it is. Um, just all I can do is wait. So we'll just wait for a while. There's more to this. Something about an arm um, that is, the arm is not connected to a body. Um, the arm is in a shackle. Um, they aren't helping me understand it, but it has sort of a black, um, it's like a leather piece. Um, and then the arm was like hacked off here. And so obviously this leather piece is still there. And then the, um, in a shackle on the hand. So, that is why, that is why the dragon, um, the body was removed from the arm or something like that. Um, I'm waiting for the body to show itself to me. Um, it has to do something with Winter Rider. Um, Winter Rider showing me he only has one um, arm. The other arm was literally hacked off of his body. Um, this has to do with the dragon um, sort of like, it's almost like the dragon head um, is like the hand part. And then the arm, um, like the dragon long dragon neck is like the arm part. And so there's some sort of reflection between some incident that um, an arm was removed and then now somehow this manifests into like a dragon feeling um, shackled in sort of too much white light. Um, they aren't helping me understand what any of this means. I'm just having to wait. Um, there's value to this and this does um, provide healing to, to see these images and then to heal these images. So, they're showing me the arm is pretty gross. Um, I can see the bone um, and tissues. Um, it was, it, I'm seeing a man literally on a bed, on like a table, um, and he's like screaming um, in pain. Um, it, it almost feels like they ripped it off of his body. Not like they cut it off, but like they ripped it off. I don't know how you would rip it off. Um, Maybe they had attached it to a horse and then the horse ran and ripped the freaking thing off. I don't, it's not pretty looking at all. And his expression is absolutely terrible. Um, I'm going to him um, to calm him. And I have his arm um, and I'm putting the arm back in. Um, and I'm, I'm literally um, altering the vibrations of everything. Um, the echo is sort of there still. He's still writhing in pain. Um, it d just can't leave it. He won't stop writhing in pain. Um, so I have to alter everything. There's real dark um, work taking place here. The real um, dark entities at work. Um, they love to torture people. Um, even love to come into the physical realms. Um, and incarnate um, in order to um, inflict severe, absolute nightmare 
upon um, other souls, um, they sort of find that to be a really delicious, um, a joyful experience um, to do this work. Um, but they're also simultaneously sort of, it creates this sort of um, energy in the spirit realm too, and it sort of harbors like, it just, it just, it just has a way about it. Um, so, I'm not able to see any of the entities at work. I'm not able to, um, it, everything is calming down though, um, because I am acknowledging all of this, so bringing this to the light, so to speak. Um, is helping to heal. Um, even the arm is still sort of in the shackle. It hasn't attached to the body yet, but the man is not screaming anymore. Um, he sort of feels empowered now, um, like he can get up now and even remove his mask. Um, he just wants to show himself. He didn't mean to be in hiding, so to speak. He just, um, this sort of put him into a dark place, sort of like hiding in the closet, you know? Um, it was the only way he could deal with it, was to um, go into darkness, is basically all I could, um, from the from this. I don't, there's, there's still more um, play on the black and the white, um, the dark and the light. Um, there's still more reflection related to that. So, so he just seems really happy. Like, he can get up and go run around now. Um, all the other dark entities are just stalled out. Um, they aren't moving. They aren't doing anything at all. Everything is just stopped. But he is in motion, and he's so happy right now. He's sort of just so, like, giddy up, yeehaw kind of um, way about him. Um, just wants to go ride his horse and with both his hands. Um, he can hold... Um, the reins with both of his hands now. Um, horse even can go, yee, and then, you know, he's sort of like that. <laughs> um, so he's doing his, um, showing off his horseman skills um, in the distance, as now I'm standing on the pathway and the trees and this air blowing down. Um, but it still has, there's still more work to do. It hasn't um, completely cycled through everything. They said I haven't um, placed the stones, um, I have not placed stones around these um, images yet, and I must do that, that's part of the healing as well. So, so this is really cool. All of the trees now are turning into gemstones, like crystals, and so it's a really cool forest of gemstone crystal trees, um, but it's sort of like a million different colored crystals um, sort of sol like solidified together um, to create each and every tree. So it's really like a fantastic world of like crystals create the trees. Um, it's really pretty. And uh, so crystals are like forming into everything. And the crystals themselves are like eating all of the energy up and then turning this into a void space. Um, he, they haven't done the, the pathway yet though. Um, just the trees on either side of the pathway. Gandalf is still there on his white horse just waiting for me, I guess. Um, I'm still just standing there. Um, he's looking at me. Um, I'm going up now again to the white castle and the dragon. Um, everything feels so much warmer now. Um, and then uh, we've got clouds still in the sky. Everything has to be removed, even the clouds, everything, all the white, all the stuff. Um, so... Um, I don't know what to do about this dragon. Um, I'm showing her, the the female dragon, that there's gemstones in my hand. Um, she's acknowledging this. Um, she actually is choosing to let go now. Um, and now she herself, um, sort of like the spirit of the dragon, is releasing um, into the white light. Um, and then... And then the dragon itself is turning into um, like a million like little crystals that are like glued together, um, but you can't see the glue, but they're just attached. Um, and there's just so many. It's so pretty. It's like dazzling crystal dragon. Um, and so all the energy, the crystals are absorbing all the energy. Um, now everything turns to crystal, white crystals. Um, the clouds now are like a million white crystals, the castles. Everything, um, the white crystals are becoming a part of everything. Um, and then healing everything, and then um, the crystal energy itself just it just k destroys like the, it can, nothing can exist there but the energy of the crystal vibrations, which are really healing and profound. Um, so it alters the vibrations itself from something that was destructive, self-destructive, or um, 
harming um, to something now that is sort of releasing, um, healing, um, altering the vibration to purify. So, so now, um, now we have another void space, and they're they're sort of like um, I'm sort of coming down from the heavens um, as sort of like just coming down from the sky, um, from the sunlight even, coming down to the pathway, um, it would only be, it would be like an angel coming down, um, and just standing there, waiting for the next thing, um, so it's like, our souls have many reflections, um, and one of my soul reflections is an angel, um, and then that side of me does um, all these sort of deep healing journeys. Um, is this angel reflection, um, while this mother sa snake side of me um, does all this rebirth um, work. Um, sort of the gift of the snake is um, reincarnation and rebirth, right? And then the gift of the angel is um, just angelic healing. Um, so, so I'm just waiting. Um, I'm just sort of in awe because of the energy itself is really. It's just really a big deal that all of this has happened. There's, there just, there's no attachments to anything anymore. Um, I'm just going back through the different layers and checking, and the girl, um, the whole, the house, the house thing is no, no value in anymore. In that it's, um, it's sort of all in the past, you know. It's all in the past. Um, out the. All of those images, whatever the the connectiveness um, to them is, is been healed by the crystals themselves. Everything is all in the past. Um, crystal, um, this airplane and this elf, everything is in the past. Um, and so now everything is sort of the energy is really intense. Um, this is a big deal. Um, everything is fading um, into sort of the past. Um, I can't quite um, say what I see because the energy is really strong and I'm pretty relaxed right now. It hasn't quite formed yet. Um, it's too big. This is a really big deal. It could only be described as a woman that was wearing a green shimmery dress, um, but then Gandalf the White um, sort of also um, somehow reflection of this, um, and then walking through this um, green, this green woman in the green dress, um, and then coming to me through this, I'm in like a tunnel of white light, um, and we're just in this tunnel of white light together, and there's a woman in a green dress that is behind Gandalf, um, but I can't see her. Um, I just see the green shimmery dress. He wants to hand me something. It's a really giant, beautiful green crystal. Um, I don't know why, but I like um, having fun with it, so I'm like tossing it in the air and catching it. Um, and he's swiping it out of my hand now, um, before it falls into my hand. Um, I don't know why. But the bottom of it is white, and the top of this is all pure dark green color. Um, and it has a very sharp point, um, and the point keeps getting sharper. Um, it almost wants to form into a pyramid, but it won't. It's sort of like a cone. Um, it's becoming a perfect cone shape and very sharp at the end. And then it's all white here at the sort of sharp, sort of triangular, rounded triangles sort of part. And then the very top, um, sort of like frosted with dark green. It's really pretty. He said there's value in this shape. Um, this is horrible, though. Um... Because it, this is some sometimes these tools get used like stakes um, through the body even through the hands um, like crucify. This has to do with crucifixion, um, and he's showing me this sort of sharp um, stake is like being hammered through my hand. Um, and there's value to this, right? There's there's meaning behind everything. So I just have to wait for the understanding to take place. Um, sort of like um, sometimes, the only way I could describe the understanding as of right now is that um, 
we have this way of um, torturing ourselves. Um, instead of using um, all the gifts um, of this world for healing, we use them for punishment. And now you have, what is Jesus on a crucifix? Um, why would we crucify a human being? Um, why wouldn't we choose to heal and love each other? It's like a really profound message for everybody who watches this video to acknowledge that um, there are so many gifts of this earth. Um, we need to start picking them up and using for healing and not using them for tormenting each other. Um, because these gifts are gifts of love. Um, he, Gandalf the White, um, he really is a super awesome sort of reflection of, like, super loves human beings, human beings specifically. Like, he's sort of like caretaker of the earth. Um, super really cares about human beings and the hu growth of humanity, um, specifically here um, on our planet. Um, really wants to help you help people um, use him if you want to be a spiritual healer use him um, he will teach you a great many things um, he that is his goal that is his purpose that is uh, his identity um, he uses white light for healing um, and now he's showing me how now the voice that speaks the wisdom chooses to now remove the pain and suffering um, and then to show healing um, the gifts for the purpose of healing and not harming. Um, this is really important. He really wants to make, he really wants to me to um, channel him um, in these, and, and use him on my healing journeys. Um, he wants to touch every human being, and he wants to show you how you can be a healer. Um, he wants to show human beings um, the magic and mysteries of the earth. Um, and crystals, and healing energy, and white light, and the spirit realm, and any question you could ever have um, related to an infinite universe, physical or spiritual, he will provide the answer. Um, you could even consider him like God, you know, so he's sort of like what child um, that was raised like a, a Christian or a Catholic um, like I was, you sort of have the think God is this sort of like big old man with a big white beard, you know, in, in clouds. And he really has this sort of identity of just being this like really amazing sort of male, loving male figure. Um, really knows about the mechanics of how all things work and how all things are created um, and how human beings can heal now. Um, really big into um, wanting to heal every human being, wanting all human beings to release, sort of choose to release their soul from these contracts so now human beings can stop suffering, choosing suffering, um, and now they can start playing roles of healers, um, channelers of wisdom, um, divine healing, loving, um, turning the earth experience from one that was sort of an exploration of hell on earth to one that is like heaven on earth. Um, he's really big into that. Um, so... We're going to go, um, what was a white bird, you know, um, is now a black bird. Um, but there's something like the black bird losing its feathers. Um, they aren't showing me the next thing yet. Stuff takes time, all right? <laughs> I'm telling you this um, for a reason. I'm doing these sort of experimentally, um just to see what it is like to do um, a sort of journey by video instead of by email. Um, and then it's also a useful training tool or learning tool for anybody. Um, just take what, you, um, take what you will from it, you know? <laughs> They're like, Abby's impatient to get to the end of this. Um, and I am, too. It's, this is exhausting. I'm not... This is exhausting. I have to go through all different sort of layers of energy changes and images and seeing new things and seeing very disturbing things and then feeling really healed and then now flipping over. It's just, it's like, uh, I don't, it's just a lot of change um, in the wind and then that exhausts my physical body, you know? But let's see. I'm just waiting for this to... I'm just seeing feathers coming from the sky from a bird. Um, a black bird that I was seeing flying, but I can't see the black bird. I'm just seeing feathers falling from the sky. White sky, black feathers. 
they're just falling to the ground. But there's no ground, so to speak, and yet I can tell there is a ground. Um, and it is white as well, and it's sort of like falling onto a rock. Um, but I can't see the rock, um, it's just white everywhere. There's three feathers, three black feathers, three black feathers on a white rock. Um, there's meaning to this. Each one is in a different direction. Um, one's going up and down with the sort of sh feathery part here and the sharp part, and then um, upside down. Um, and then this one, this one wants to be different, but it can't be. It could either be this way, up this way, or the other way. Um, but it wants to be turned at an angle. But which way to go with it? Um, this has to do with direction, knowing which way to go. Um, bird feathers, um, birds sort of flying, um, you know, they know their direction. Um, they fly south for the winter, you know, there's sort of winter and then they fly south where it's warm. Um, sort of birds have this innate knowing how to go, which direction they're going to go. Um, but so now we've lost some feathers, right, along the way. Um, and now we have feathers and they don't know which direction to go. Um, sort of not sure which path, like which direction to go, even in life. Um, so they're like, I have to decide. I'm going to have to decide which direction to put them in um, in order for it to be somehow correct. There's something awful about this. Um, there's something so horrible that is breaking everything. Um, even this sort of horrid um, anger and I'm telling you it is eruption of anger and frustration and sort of um, horrible. And it is almost like um, spewing out, breaking, it's like a geyser from the deep depths of this like white world. Um, now it is cracking the ground, cracking this stone, cracking into the white, even the white of the sky. Everything is like white. Um, and it's coming up and shooting up black tar everywhere. Um, there's so much anger. All I can describe it is so much rage. Um, it even is filling me with, like, I need to go punch something. <laughs> like, that is the feeling of this. Um, so much pressure and buildup. Um, so you try and keep it white and tidy. You try and make it um, so everything is good, right? And when in, deep down you have this sort of... Um, filling this sort of rage that needs to be released from containment. Um, so I'm releasing the rage from containment because it doesn't need to be down there. Um, sort of, um, it needs to be out. It needs to be let out. So it is being let out. Um, and there's sort of really gross something coming out of the ground. Um, and now I'm seeing this usual um, sort of man from the dark realms. Um, so yeah, he's a big, he's a big um, guy, and um, he's just dark energy, but he's sort of solidified dark energy, so I can see sort of the structure of muscle, and then um, he's just a dark head, um, he doesn't have hair or anything, um, he's just a dark, solid uh, man, but he's really loving, like he is not a disturbing man at all, um, he he knows the balance and the value and the importance of dark and darkness and chaos in order for the soul to grow um and he loves he loves all souls and he's sort of like he has so much admiration and respect for all souls who choose his pathway um he is not he he does um ensure your soul um experiences the hell and chaos that um that you choose but he um, is, he respects all souls. Um, he respects all souls for their journey. Um, really respects Bianca's soul for her journey. Um, showcasing himself now in this white world. Um, and sort of let, now all this sort of, the, the energy's been released. Um, it's not like bottled up anymore. Um, it needs to come out of there. Um, Everything just feels so calm and peaceful and serene, and I don't, um, I don't feel rage or anger anymore. I just feel peaceful, and um, so this has to do with soul contracts again. Um, 
he's handing her Bianca's contract to me. Um, he's ag acknowledging that he has read the permission slip. Um, it indicates healing for um, a female womb and then healing for migraines. Um, and now he's sort of underlined that healing will take place um, for everything requested in this permission slip. Um, release for all of the pain and suffering um, by choice. Um, he's sort of just blasting off into space now like he's on to the next thing. Um, he just sort of um, stopped by just to do this and now he's got to go. <laughs> Um, so I have this, um, and everything is healing. This place should not be so white. It actually is meant to be growing things here. Um, something happened that prevented things from growing, and instead it sort of heart, it tried to hide all the darkness. Um, but now all the darkness has been, um, revealed. It's come out now, and now, um, and now, um, now the white light is sort of filling with green. Um, it's like the green dragon, um, this sort of reflection of healing. So everything is just filling with growing things. Um, green grass is really vibrant green colors. Um, green things growing. Showing me that there's like even a mountain range in the distance. Um, this was like a really sacred rock. Um, again, with sacred stones. Even wanting me to plant um, like a million seeds of sacred stones in the ground and watch them grow and to show me how majestic um, the growing can be when you plant sacred stones into the earth. Um, it makes the plants thrive um, when you do this. Plants love um, the energy that crystals provide. Um, plants do. So if you want to have a garden, you plant um, crystals in your garden and now um, the plants grow um, in so, such amazing ways because they love, they feed off the crystal energy. Um, so we're making a giant crystal grid here on this space. Um, the crystal grid is literally awesome, um, the energy feeling of it. Um, it's literally like um, going across the entire earth now. Um, this white space was the earth itself. Um, and now it is being wrapped in um, Bianca's super awesome crystal grid. Um, it is being felt across the entire planet. It's sort of like it lays flat, but somehow now it is um, circular, like a circular thing. Um, and then it, then it is absorbing into the ground um, in this energy, but it is also coming outward too. So it is making like, it is doing two things simultaneously. It's going down and out. So it's going um, up and down at the same time. Um, so, um, so the, the feathers were sort of a sort of confused sort of way because they can create an arrow with three feathers, right? Now we know which direction to go forward with life. <laughs> That's literally what this is. You have one feather and I have one feather and one feather and now we can go forward, um, with life. Um, the feathers are, have, that, that was the only th part of that message, um, and so now we see everything filling with all this sort of awesome growing things. Um, and they're really showcasing how human beings, so Bianca even, um, is feeling the messages from, from the new day and age, the human awakening. Um, she herself is feeling inspired to do spiritual things to help the earth and human beings. Um, and thus she is helping the earth and human beings. Um, and then also... Um, Showing me how all human beings, um, every little thing that you do, um, is helping um, the earth and other human beings. Every time you choose to do something good, um, it does get felt. And it does make an impact and it does make a difference. Um, they really want to showcase something. Um, so while this sort of awesome earth terrain is developing and all these awesome crystals are across the globe um, of Bianca's expression um, and healing everything. Um, they're sort of um, they're showing me Bianca's body now um, and sort of wanting me to see dark clouds lifting out of the head um, and then out of like the female womb. Um, so I'm just going to wait and allow these images to complete themselves. So so Gandalf the White also wants to share um, super healing white light energy. I'm just waiting here. Hmm. And it's sort of... Um, 
So it comes out of his um, staff, and then um, it goes to the head, and then it circulates around the head, um, this white light. And now white light sort of going into the head too, um, filling the head, and then also f coming out of the head too. Um, and this little white sort of bird, um, and it's, um, I saw this in the other healing too. What is that hummingbird? Um, it's sort of a hummingbird, a white, pure white hummingbird that's going or circulating around the head and flowing. It's pushing the energy around in a circle, in a spiral sort of, but it's just a circle. Um, but it is inspiring healing to go into the head and come out even. It's sort of like the head itself is breathing, um, inhaling and exhaling white light. Um, the head itself is doing this while this bird is sort of pushing this white light around. Um, but they want the white light to disperse through the whole body. Um, this, real, this is real. Um, because the head is even sort of evaporating into white light. And white light is sort of coming downward. Um, uh, and then the shoulders, um, where the arm was removed. But everything is solidified. Um, and then the white light is coming down. And he's washing over the entire body. And the whole body is just evaporating into white light itself. Um, so it is no longer a solid structure. It's just white light. Um, this is the gift of rebirth. Um, re unrooting sort of all of these images and feelings and echoes and emotions and um, sort of parts of the spiritual expression. And now... Um, and now this soul now can go basically enter into the white light to be profoundly healed and now um, to re-emerge as a solid um, new expression of light. Um, Gandalf has something to do with this white light um, work. He's like the ma master of white light is the only way I could describe him. He's like the master of white light. So I'm just waiting for Bianca to return. So her soul is healing in white light is what is taking place right now. Soul is actually healing in white light while she is at, um, simultaneously living a normal human life. You know what I mean? Like, like um, her body is still alive. Um, the soul is just um, in a state of um, bliss and healing in the white light. Um, all these contracts are healed now. Um, sort of the work is done. So, I'm waiting, um, okay, okay, there's something good happening here. It's sort of like, um, a refreshing new feeling, um, like minty fresh, almost, freshening up for the day, um, waking up in the morning, getting a shower, and not, not disturbed by light or anything, just feel like a brand new person, a brand spanking new person, um, feel like, um, I'm just ready to embrace my life, um, in every way that it comes to me. Um, it's just getting a shower. I just, I just see a happy, smiling woman in the shower, just ready to start, um, a brand new day. Um, feeling like a brand new person even. Has no feelings of treachery or violence or disturbing, um, misery or pain and suffering or anything. Just feels so refreshed and happy and renewed. Feels amazing to me. Um, I'm just so happy right now. Um, it fills me with happiness. So, um, so I'm going to, <laughs> they do this, um, they do this, um, to signify the end, um, and then the beginning, um, the book closing now, um, the book being put on a shelf even, new book, um, to be written, um, soul to write a new story now, the journey of the soul, um, Bianca to choose now the next, um, pathway, um, where is the pathway to go now? Um, next, why don't you show us like this sort of excited spiritual voice asking Bianca, um, what do you choose next? What do you choose to do next? Um, how do you f want to fill the pages of your new book? Um, it's really exciting feeling. Um, and just sort of reminding me of to fill them with joy. Um, refreshed, minty, sort of healthy, happy state. Um, all, the, all of that other stuff is in the past. It has no relationship with who and what you are now today um, as you walk forward in your life. So, um, so that is it. Um, that is my rebirth for you, Bianca. Um, 
Thank you very much for this opportunity and for being open-minded um, to let me do this by video and then share it. Um, so <laughs> it means a lot. And um, it's also helpful um, for me to um, experience it in this way, which is different than doing it by writing. Um, so this is so it's good for both of us. Um, so I'm just very thankful. Um, I'm just wishing you the best. Um, thank you again.